there, everyone. I'm Michael. And I'm Justin. We are Prego Italia, living our Italian dream. Yes. We're American expats, formerly from California, now living full-time in beautiful Scalay, Italy. And today, what a beautiful day! Yes, it is very Yay. pretty. <laughs> the rain has stopped. Happy, happy, happy. So yes, we're yes, going to yes. take advantage of that with some cool around the house stuff garden work. Yes. So you guys get to see me and some grungy work wear today. So <laughs> He's got a fun. project pretty big for him he wants to take on. I was like, oh boy. Okay, but you want to do it? So I, we'll I go do. Get your I, feel, I feel like when you put your energy and your effort into doing housework, it just makes it that much more your mm -hmm. home. So it's something I can do. Oh, and great. I'm <laughs> going to take advantage of it. Cool. So anyway, so we have some projects to do around the house. Come have fun with us and we'll show you around the garden and everything. Yeah. And, and we get a special lunch. Our friend Graziella, the lovely lady that was a former viewer that has now become a friend. As you all know, she gifted us with so many beautiful plants yes. for the villa here. So we're actually, you're going to get to meet her more. We're taking her out to lunch and we'll get to sit down and we'll find out all about how cool she is because we've become great friends with her. Yes, we have we a lot have. in common. So anyway, so please hit like and subscribe as usual. We love it and it helps our channel and we love your comments. Keep them coming. Absolutely. All the days of rain have stopped. Yay. So now we get the lovely flowers. Hello, Spice Girls. <laughs> Names of the geraniums. Doing beautiful. Gorgeous day today. So we are outside now planning what fun work we have to do in the garden for fun. So I'll have to put the cushions back on the furniture. Roses are doing nicely. And let's see, I used Graziella's beautiful gift of plants here and placed them around in nice areas. Finished up, got my basil out getting some sun. Um, I did add some, these are pots are from Graziella, thank you, but I, um, they were empty. So I put some strawberries, started some nice berries in those. And over here, surprise, Belvedere Martima at nursery. I went back and found these beautiful matured strawberries with fruit already on them. Isn't that great? Two euros each and I got two. And they have fresh berries. That was an amazing deal. So I grabbed two, pick and eat as you want. <laughs> no chemicals and fresh by the sea. So it's more strawberries there. So we'll have plenty of strawberries. One of our favorite treats. Yum. Lovely sitting out here. We enjoy it so much. Had sticks up to protect the lemon in the rain. Can pull those out. Ooh, somebody's starting to bloom. You go, Sophia. This Vigara is going to be flowering soon. And so is Miss Shakira over here. Oh, pretty. Okay. Well, I have some new additions I'll have to name. I found these gorgeous Italian cypress trees, which how could I have a property in Italy a villa without them? So right in this area that will be placed. And over here, I have a second one. Beautiful, they're about almost equal in size. Closest match I can get. And right about that area, I will plant that. Here, of course, will be the large pots that we got, jumbo pots, with our grapevines. We still have to plant, they're in there to protect from the wind. So I will have those planted where they get to grow directly in the soil. You can see the driveway carrying nicely. About two more weeks to go, I think, and then they'll be able to start the stone pavers and I can get my planters finished, yay. But it's looking pretty even as just basic concrete. And yes, the chair. Today, I guess I can show you one of our daily life errands. The chair, we had 10 that we inherited of these lovely deck chairs. Priced them around, they're kind of pricey, so worth keeping and saving. I'm gonna take it to the lumber yard for the as I call him, the lumber artist, and see if he can fix that little plank that snapped during the construction. Outside it got accidentally broken, so it's worth saving. And then we'll have a matching tin. Never have enough chairs. <laughs> so anyway, so big hose from watering the concrete and all my planting area. It's got more geraniums, just love geraniums. So, and then here's our blueberries, got them planted. Yay, it's a little messy over here because Oh, the little bit of construction debris still going on. So, yay. So everything's coming out fabulous. Oh, I planted this rose. I think you all remember. Gorgeous. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? So everything's coming out really nice. Yay. So, yay, yay, yay. Oh, so pretty, pretty day. Uh, Michael, 
doesn't want to, we were going to hire the workers to come back and grout some of the pavers here, but Mikey thinks he would like to take it on himself. So we shall see, and he can do it if he'd like. It's gonna be a project, but we'll get him some grout, some gray grout and let him go, go to town on that if he desires. So it's definitely in his realm, he says, and it's good exercise. So we'll see how that goes. Well, Michael, you are brave to take on this task. <laughs> well, <you> Mike. <laughs> yeah, um, so anybody who does grouting, it's not easy at all, duh, obviously. When I was looking at the grouting, I thought, Justin and I thought, um, when we first said that I'd be doing this, that there were certain areas that I was gonna be able to avoid doing because it looked like they had already been grouted pretty well. Is it well. just sand buildup and stuff? Um, I think a lot of it was sand buildup. There's, there's some grouting, but then you get halfway through the tile and no more grout. Well, maybe they so, did it eight decades um, ago or something and it came Yeah, close. yeah, maybe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically, I'm gonna be working sections at a time, I think. And the reason why is because I don't wanna scrape up the whole area. <laughs> Gucci still. Hi, Gucci. I don't wanna scrape up the whole area and then have um, the process of grouting and then find out that I have to scrape again. Yeah. So I'm going to do small little sections at a time. Okay. Um, but you yeah. Got so, the energy, go for it. It's, it's. As everyone knows, <laughs> with Michael's disability, he loves to tackle projects that's, uh, well, where he can sit on the ground and tend to them. So. Well, I'm this, not sure I love doing <laughs> well, them, but you're gonna, it's, it's. I guess you something. told me you wanted to, so. I did say I wanted to, and I think the reason why is because I know I can. Yes, this and was so. later on the list for the, the handyman uh, or the workers to do, but Michael said, hey, I think I could do that. That'll yeah. be fun. The weather's nice. So we will film the progress of this. It might take you quite a while, but <laughs> oh, I'm sure so it's literally okay. everyone quite knows all our paved areas. So <laughs> okie dokie, that's a lot of, uh, first of all, just cleaning out that grout. Wow. See, my back would just be killed if I was doing that. Oh my gosh. But anyway, uh, more power to you, sweetheart. <laughs> Proud of you. We'll watch your progress. Yes. <laughs> so I brought my chair. Sebastian the wood artist. So, you remember this is where we got all the wood for the pergola. So this is a simple split. I suppose it could be glued. <laughs> but I want it to be nice and safe. So we'll see if we can get a new slat made. After all that rain, the car got quite dirty. So I thought I'd share where I washed the car. It was only one euro. And I'm in Scalea, who I do not know, Union. I guess it's called Union Gas Station. It's off in the country a bit, but I, it's over near the lumber yard, so I knew it was here. Uh, I was able to wash her all shiny and pretty. The gentleman's washing over here. It only costs a euro. You put your one euro coin in, get two tokens, and you put each token in accordingly and pick your wash selections. It's pretty cool soap up and all these fun stuff with brushes so very similar to north america but like i said only one euro unbelievable i self-service washed the car and i was able to vacuum over there at the vacuum kiosk beforehand and that cost me about a euro as well with a two two fifty cent coin session so pretty handy they have a drive through thing but i didn't need to do that but just thought i'd share my helpful tips and it's the union cafe for union gas that you look for in Skaya if you'd like to use this particular service. Awesome, happy shiny car. And there's the gentleman washing his car. So very similar to North America. Always fun. Hey everybody, we're at lunch. We took out Hi. the one and only Graziella. <laughs> Child, All of our everybody. viewers have heard about you so much. The garden was Yes, <laughs> the patron saint of our villa. Yes, so. <laughs> yes, thank you for that. We can't thank you enough. You're it's welcome. so beautiful. And we are all enjoying our all you can eat at Tokyo Sushi. And yes. I think Graziella likes sushi, so she's got oh that coming. Oh my god, I'm so full. <laughs> we are halfway yes, right we're now. We're halfway <laughs> on the all you can eat. Michael and I do our tempura and noodles and the Chinese things yes. and soup and all the yummy yummies. And ooh, yum yum. So enjoying everything and enjoying great company. Um, Graziella started out a viewer of our channel and she instantly became a friend because she's fabulous. And oh, tell everybody how long you've li you lived in San Diego in the past. 
I lived in San Diego for 26 years and my parents live here because they moved here from Milan and I kept coming every year and now I've been here for three years. Awesome, taking your, care of your parents, which I'll be doing, so we have that in common as well. That's awesome and then of course, we're talking about Los Angeles and San Diego, so so much in common, it's so cool. She knows all the same shops and uh, areas, so that's really instant friendship bonder right there. Cool, so it's so awesome. Places, but you know, here you have it all. Exactly. You know, Scalia Shopping Village, yep. the beach. And the funny thing is, that, look at all those years we could have met you in San Diego, but destiny brought us to meet you exactly. here in Scalia. And, and as you <laughs> told us yesterday, gelato. Oh my God. They already open. I got an ice cream, cheesecake, and pistachio. <laughs> Yummy. Oh my. Well, I don't know if we'll have room today for gelato, but we'll do a, no, we'll do a so gelato. Cool. We'll do a gelato day soon. How okay, about that? Sure. So cool. fun. So yay, everybody's gonna clap for you, the sweetest, sweetest lady. I'm moving so. here, talking sushi, so <laughs> Yes, it is. Thank you again, too. You're we can't welcome. thank you. Well, thank you, thank you to the world for our beautiful Ciao. Insta, Insta Villa Gardens yeah. of potted plants. <laughs> love you, honey. Ciao, love you, too. Ciao, ciao. Oh, the fun of everyday living. Yes. We were driving and a pothole in the road flattened our tire during this lunch break time. Yes. <laughs> and we were able to find a tire shop We've been waiting for an hour and a half for them to open. And it looks like they're going to open a little early for us. And hopefully help us get our rather new tire. They're only a couple months old. Repaired somehow. Yay! So what do you do in Italy when you run into a pothole and your tire pops and you hear a loud <laughs> hissing noise? You have Michael quickly Google tire center near me. And luckily about three minutes away. Yeah. We drove on it and made it here before it went flat. Shh. I know you're supposed to stop and change to spare, but yeah, yeah, right. That isn't going to happen. <laughs> but we made it in time. Hopefully it's something that they could uh, fix. He um, actually put a the tire in a bathtub and looked for the holes with the air bubbles it was quite interesting so he found the two right by the um wheel thingy where the i just love every out. time i love every time we talk about something technical <laughs> because he sounds like ariel from the little mermaid well anyway the thing with the it's got two little things springing air out of it so hopefully the damage isn't too bad uh we had, we were having like an hour wait while they were on this yes they came early and opened early for us luckily so but um yeah so if you come during their on their break time and everything's closed then that's the luck of our draw but anyway right. you know i i always used to say that and i always used to think um because Justin would always be like, it's so weird that Italy closes for their siestas. <laughs> and for me, it was one of those things that once we were here for a week, maybe two, I got used to it yeah. and it wasn't a big deal. It was just like, okay, you know, and then something like, like today happens, happens and you're realizing hey, that everything's closed and you're like, ah! <laughs> we could have been on the freeway or something or it could have been a Sunday when everything's closed. So at least we are in civilization and there's a tire shop to do it so that's the good news if we were in the middle of nowhere on a road trip Ooh. we'll see and then justin wanted to play the game of gee wouldn't it be nice if there was a pasta tree close by and we could get coffee <laughs> no. and it's such a mean thing to do because ever since he said that all i've been wanting is a cup of coffee we're and i can't get one semi-industrial <laughs> zone so uh no luck with that but it looks like uh, they have uh, mobile trucks that come out to people so I'll do that too to archive it so I can get the phone number later. So anyway, we'll tell you what the damage is after it's done. So we're just happy it's uh, at a time when they were able to open a little early for us. So update on the tire. So yes. we are getting the back Goodyear brand put into the front. They are putting a temporary used tire we have to purchase for 35 euros. Uh, the best they have of a different brand because we will order Goodyear. They're not in stock here. We'll go back to the Mercedes Bosch Center in Diamante where we got them like, I think three, four months ago, we got all new tires. So we'll have to get a new tire that matches the Goodyear.
temporarily will use this used one. But all I have to say is we're in Praia Mare and Praia Mare City, please fix your potholes. <laughs> Citizens don't need to pay for tires and stuff from nasty potholes. So. And you don't need your tires whistling Dixie as you go down the road either. And it was by the Q8 gas <laughs> station. So I'm going to use caution driving around there. So anyway, always look for potholes. This one wasn't that huge. I didn't even see it, but I guess the damage is two holes. It was hissing quick. It made a loud whine noise. So I haven't heard a tire make that much noise before from the air. But fun daily living in Italy. So good news is at least they opened on time for us early and we get that and get on with the rest of our day. But yeah. I'm tired. Things like that tire you out. But anyway, here comes the temporary used one getting cleaned in the little bathtub vat and off on our way. That was tiring. So that was 35 euros for a used tire, but they got all the air checked and everything on. And that'll get us through for the probably couple weeks it takes where we get our normal Goodyear ordered. So like I said, they didn't keep that brand in stock there. So it's just easier to do it this way. So aye, aye, aye. But at least we've got that problem avoided, Michael, and we can get on with our regular day. So I hate stuff like that, but things happen everywhere you are. So that's that. So we said we'd share our daily life. I didn't think you'd be uh, thinking it was that mundane, but uh, tire. This, this, was, this was not <laughs> part of the Italian dream. <laughs> anyway, but it is what it is. It we is were, Italian life. <laughs> we were actually coming to visit our friend Nancy today. That's why we were coming to Praia Mare, but they're closed for their little break time and everything. So that was our visit mm -hmm. instead to the tire shop at Praia Mare. So anyway, off to our regular errands now. Don't laugh, but I actually had to drive around town to exit the town. And I'm passing by that pothole. And here's, scared. here's the damn bastard of a hole that damaged our tire. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. So that's the nasty thing. Look how deep that is. Jeez. I could put my whole fist and lose it down in that hole. Anyway, Priamari City, fix your potholes. We're right by the Q8 gas station, right in the main part when you leave the town. So not pleased with that. That's like a couple hundred for a new tire and 35 for the used one. And then hour, two hours you stole from our day. So here's where that's located. Pothole alert, everyone. <laughs> hey, everybody. We're having our afternoon cappuccino at Pasticceria de Rosa. We ran into our lovely friends, Kirsten and Dave. How are you doing, guys? Okay. Good Yay. Night. So are you enjoying the warm weather? I know you're in a coat, but it's getting hot. I'm almost sunburning out here. <laughs> so anyway, lovely to see you as usual. So they are from England. Yeah. So, and how long have you guys lived in Scalia? Uh, five and a half years now. Yay. And what do you think of Scalia? Um, not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough to move here from England, correct? <laughs> or is it an Italian non chimale? <laughs> <laughs> we'll always love to run into you guys. I'm sure our viewers will love to say hello as well. Hi, enjoy your cappuccino. <laughs> See, they're having afternoon cappuccino as well. It's not just us. <laughs> so repaired chair update. The nice lumber artist, as they call him, kindly came up with a solution. We had a crack there during the construction. I don't know if it got stepped on or something as a ladder, um, but however it broke, they were able to go underneath it and put in a um, piece for me to make a brace professionally done, screwed in and glued down. So as good as new. Yay. And the gentleman kindly didn't even want to charge me. I could tell. And I insisted, and then he said, whatever you'd like or have, and I happened to have five euros, so he happily took that because I had one on me, so. But it was so kind of them. And uh, like I said, we have 10 of these chairs that came with the house, so now we kept 10 instead of having to throw this one out. Yay. Lovely. Goes so nice with the set, so I have four extras which I can place around when we have further entertaining. You can tell the weather's nice and beautiful when the boats are coming out. It's cool. I know when my parents are here, my dad's just going to sit and enjoy watching boats as much as he can. Beautiful view. Well, thank you for sharing definitely a day in our life here in Italy, living our Italian dream. And With last, realities. At <laughs> last you get the down of falling in that pothole, that crater, that 
Primary, please fix your potholes. I'm still so going on about that because a hundred and some for a new tire when I just got them a few months ago. So much more I'd rather spend than another tire. <laughs> so, oh, oh, I'll get over it. But You know what I always say though <laughs> is when life throws you lemons, we're in Italy, you make limoncello. And I think that after this video, we're probably so gonna have some. <laughs> when life throws you a pothole, what do you make with that? Brownies. Pot <laughs> You're bad. <laughs> oh, this one. Just saying, that people. Just fun. saying. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. He's too funny. But anyway, we made the best that we could. We Hey, we got to see friends. So, yay. Yes. We had lunch with Graziella. She's lovely. Hi. Hi. Oh, we ran into Karina. I should have filmed that. Hi, Karina. I should have pulled the phone yeah. out. Hi, Karina. <laughs> <Sweet. Hi. Mwah. laughs> see you soon. And then Dave and Kirsten. That yes. was fun. So, we have fun with friends. That makes the day fun. We so. have friends. <laughs> <laughs> that, when you have a down day, meeting up with friends makes it all much better. So, But we, that's the funny thing is we went to Primari to go meet up with Nancy and say hi. And that pothole ruined and took up all the hours of... <laughs> Unnecessary. I'm going to go on about that. I'm one of those people. I'm like, Argh! anyway, tires on order. I'll tell you how that turns out. And the funny part is his mom's name is Karen. <laughs> you know that one. When my mom actually found out when people were calling people, oh, Karen's, Karen's, you know, that whole thing, the Karen for the entitled nauseating uh, woman name that they picked randomly, Karen. But my mom's so all, she has why the, did they use my so name? She has the name and he has the personality. <laughs> Let me speak to your managers. He's so bad, this one. Oh, you're so funny. This one, he's on fire today with his humor. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's funny. Mom was like, why did they pick my name? She's just turned 77. Happy birthday, Mom. So her birthday was just the other day. But anyway, um, Happy she's birthday. like, why did they have to pick my name? Why did they ruin it? So, but anyway, cute. But she's a good Karen. She's not one of those. <laughs> She's, You'll meet she's, her soon. She's a benevolent Karen. <laughs> well, we have to do like we talked to her on video phone most you know days and stuff. Sometimes audio, but we have to record with a different device a video and have her at least say hi to everybody with a video call. That would be. We fun. will see how that. We'll see how that technology <laughs> works for us. But anyway, thank you. It was a fun day. I got the chair fixed. Was yay. it fun though, or was it eventful? I'm, I'm not going to go. Eventful. I'm not going to go so far hey. as to say it's fun. You're, it was eventful. You're the one taking on the task of regrouting the whole patio here so and that wasn't fun it was needed <laughs> yes so there's a little this a little that and the gardening yay it's so fun so and it's a beautiful day and yay so anyway thank you for sharing this fun with us so we have some cooking ones planned ahead yes. and we have uh, more um town visits and 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 um graziella i know when we were talking with you you had said that you wanted to make a specific dessert recipe so oh, yeah. i will be holding you to that yeah, girl we'll have <laughs> friends come and cook with us and stuff in the yes. future different things how fun so anyway we have a lot of fun thank you so much everybody for spending your time with us we know you have very busy lives and crazy times in this world so hopefully we're a form of escapism for you we invite you into our lives and we thank you please keep those comments coming we, we invite you into our lives <laughs> but we kindly ask that you stay out of our potholes everybody needs to stay out of the pothole <laughs> i have to get the name of the street it's by the q8 uh, gas station right when you exit the town i'm going to tell everybody about that puddle actually don't laugh because i was like thinking i should get like a bag of rocks and go fill the pothole I'm so codependent, so nobody else has that happen to them, but the city has to do it, not me. <laughs> anyway, but here I am running around filling potholes in Italy so nobody else goes through the tire damage I got. Could you imagine that? Oh, my God. It was it was horrible. Our our tire was basically this Two lane. spots, I guess. It, it effed it up so bad. So still angry about that, but... So watch, now I'm going to drive like a little grandma here in my panda. Da, 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 da. At least now there's a reason. Yeah, now I see when the little people drive really slow. Now they they fell in a pothole and they like never drive fast again. We're going on too much. Ramble, ramble, ramble. But thank you, everybody. Like I said, thank you for letting us in your lives. We think of you as our YouTube family. Thank you. Thank you. Love you all. Thank you guys bocci, for subscribing. Bocci, bocci. bocci. See you soon. And ciao. Dare to dream. Hey everyone, so we have exciting news. We are now on Patreon and you can find the link to that right here below. There will be the info for you to find us, Patreon. We actually, in advance, want to thank you very much for your patronage. Thank you. Um, your support will enable us to grow this channel to where we hope it gets to be and also enable us to travel throughout Italy and share many more experiences with you. So thank you in advance. Baci, baci. Baci.